All right. Hey, it's Friday. Did you know that? <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Friday, July 23rd, 2021. Welcome to the pre-show. Hey, it's Blingin'. Mm. Will and Maggie, thank you. Good evening. Hey, it's the pre-show. Stay with it. Already. I'm just saying. Tonight's going to be fun. Um, I, I was like, you know, somebody asked me the other day. It was like, they were asking me about radio and songs and singles and all this stuff. And they're like, so how many how many singles have you had? And, and so I had to start adding them up. And uh, I sort of lost track a little bit. But it's I'm creeping up on 40. 40! Number one singles. It's crazy. I know. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Well, I've just been out for a while. So, <laughs> there's that. Anyway, welcome to the pre-show. We'll be start, starting the show in just a little bit. We have a great show tonight. Lots of songs, lots of music. We got some fun facts. We got some other surprises for you. So we'll see what happens. We're talking about Chicago Jazz Getaway, too, because uh, it's going to be my first live show back. Well, you know, with people. <laughs> Stay with it. All right, where are you guys from? Oh, good morning in Tokyo. Junichi. Hello. Uh, Tony Smith, Arkansas, in the house. LaRonda, hello. Justin Smith, what up, man? Uh, Maureen in Clearwater. Rhonda Kilpatrick. She's like, my number one. I love it. Uh, Aloha in Honolulu, Sue. Uh, Scott Hager, what up, man? Oh, he's at the Win, Las Vegas, right now. Uh, best of luck. Uh, good evening, Chi Town in the building, Sue Lee. Hello. If you're from Chicago, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, Lorraine also in Vegas. All right. Uh, Luann Robert in Deerfield Beach, Florida. I'm not sure where that is. Oh, somebody's stay. Somebody's sending stars. Stay with stars it. are flying in. Okay. All right. Michelle Haywood in Detroit. What up, Detroit? How you doing? Pasadena, Texas is here. Hey, Deb. Uh, Charles is in the Chicago area. All right. Uh, Will and Maggie shares. Still blinging. Stay. Yeah. Stay. Orlando Wright. Stay with mm, I love that. Kay Hamilton. Uh, July 24th. Wait, tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday, Farn. Okay. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the house. We got Milwaukee here. New Orleans. We got, uh, oh, Jasper Myers. Hello. The chat's going fast now. We got more Florida in the house. We got Little Rock, Arkansas. We got Bonita Jackson. Got her Chicago tickets in hand. Houston, Texas is here. Hello, hello. Uh, somebody's husband's from Chicago. <laughs> I missed who his name it is. The chat is flying. All right. Angela, upstate New York. Met you on the cruise, did we? Oh, yes. Were we in the elevator together? I love when that happens. I'll be on the elevator and somebody again on and they'll be like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, which floor, please? Are you going to the Lido deck? Yeah, anyway. Los Angeles, always in the house. I'm scared. It. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, all right. Douglasville, Georgia. Linda Baker. Douglasville, Georgia. All right. Hey, we got Charlotte in the house. As in the Queen City, Charlotte in C. Uh huh. Tina in Indiana. Kokomo, Indiana, to be, to be specific. Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Phoenix in the house. Oh. And it's raining there. Interesting. All right. Well, good luck. You probably need it after, you know, 197 degrees there. It's crazy. Uh oh. Stay with it. Phoenix. <laughs> All right. Mm. Linda says, I've hugged her many times on board the ship. Well, all right then. Stay with That needs a... Yeah. All right. Hey, I've been practicing. Yes, I have. It's coming quick. It's coming quick. Uh, David in Chicago is here. David Brooks. What up, man? 
Uh, Waldorf, Maryland, is in the house. Roberta Berry. Hello, Roberta. Uh, we got Puerto Rico. San Juan is watching tonight. Hello. Welcome to the welcome to the show. We got Richmond, Virginia. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Voorhees, New Jersey. Hanging with BC. Evening, y'all, he says. Or she, I forget. Oh, I missed it. All right. Stay. Annapolis, Maryland. Merlin. Houston is hanging out. I love that. More Little Rock, Arkansas. I need to get down to Arkansas. Stay with it. Evidently. All right. Hey, let me get this together. We'll shut the show in about in about one minute. Hillsboro, North Carolina. Hello, Will. <laughs> All right, you guys. See you in just a sec. All right, I'm getting it together. What is that? I don't know. Stay with it. Tell me to stay with it. All right, here we go. Ready? Ah! All right. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's Brian Culbertson. We're live, and it's Friday night. All right, what's up, folks? Oh, we got something going on with that. My camera's off. Tell my camera to stay with it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to adjust. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. Oh, it's off there. What the heck? Hey, it's Friday night. whatever. We're gonna party anyway. Hey. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. You think I can fix it? Ah, fix it after this. Let's go over to this camera, shall we? <laughs> hey, that one's fine. Yeah. You know, it's always something, folks. Did you know that? It's always something. But tonight, I'm gonna play a bunch of number one songs. And that's all there is to it. What? It's Friday night. It's Friday night, backed up to the jacked up camera. What? It's Friday night. It's Friday night. Yeah. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. And you've made it. You're here. You're yeah. All right. Is this camera work? Well, that one works. You know these things. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what do I have in my cup? Don't worry about it. It's number one juice. I just made that up. I have no idea. I'm gonna drink it though. How you doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I wore my own shirt again. Is that weird? Bam! <laughs> hey, tomorrow morning we're going on sale with the um, uh, single day tickets in Chicago Jazz Getaway. Uh, you know, I'm so excited because this is my, my first show. Did you see my little video? I'm like, I'm finally getting out of this studio onto a stage with the people and this. <laughs> it's a true story, but uh, I'm excited. You know, here's the info. We got Avery Sunshine, Eric Darius, David Benoit, Mark Sanderson, Mark Well, Jordan, The Pete Project, my whole band, and probably some more surprises. Yeah, you know, you know how we do. It's going to be a lot of fun, so hope you can join us. The um, uh, there's still two day gold packages left the Friday and Saturday nights plus the after party so get those now you can get them now like now did I say now jazzgetaway.com like during the show you can use a different device I'm just messing with you uh, but anyway but tomorrow morning the single day tickets uh, so if you can only come like on the Friday and or uh, you know just the Saturday we got you covered too so we, we got options. I like options personally. Hence the reason we're giving you options at the Chicago Jazz Getaway. The third annual. Rescheduled. <laughs> it's all good. We're excited. Can you tell? But you know what? Let me get the music flowing. Let me set this down because I got a lot of music. 
All right, we're going to fade that out. We're going to get right into the first number one song. This comes from my It's On Tonight CD. It's on. Yes, right. Uh, featuring Lettucey on vocals. And this is Eric Darius on tenor saxophone. Did you know that? What? Oh, yes. Billboard number one. Yeah. Number one tonight. Yes. Let's get started. Let's get started from It's On Tonight. What's next? Hey, we're going to Chicago. Taking a ride down Fullerton Avenue. And when you're in town, you got to come up. It's a couple miles north of the Fairmont Hotel. Fullerton Avenue. Let's go up Lakeshore Drive. Cut over. Just saying. Number one song right here.
Fullerton Avenue, the great Chuck Loeb there on guitar. Whew. Whew. That, that's what Chicago feels like. It's, it's cool, but it's got, it's dirty, but it's clean. It's funky, but it's smooth. <laughs> it's, it's all these things. Uh, so that's, that's Fullerton Avenue right there. Mm-hmm. What's next? Well, let's see. You know what? Should I show you the new video? Check this out. Uh, those of you who've been before to the Fairmont know we've, we've held the Friday and Saturday night shows uh, at the, it was kind of a small little showroom right off the lobby. However, we decided, you know, since we're coming back, we want to come back big. So we're going to go upstairs. We're moving upstairs, second floor, to the International Ballroom. It's just a name but it's bigger. We could spread out more. It's going to be beauteous. Do, can I show you real quick? Okay, I was, I, I was walking around there the other day. Check this out. Check this out. The new venue. I won't show you the whole thing. It gets boring. But I'll give you a taste. I'm here at the Fairmont Hotel, downtown Chicago. I'm going to walk you through our new venue for the Chicago Jazz Getaway. Ready? Here we go. Staircase. There's also escalators and elevators, but I took the stairs. 
walking up to the International Ballroom, which is entrance right there. See the outdoors is the foyer. Yeah. Oh, bathrooms. <laughs> so let's walk in, check it out. All the doors will be open. Huge ballroom. Pretty awesome. So this will be full of chairs. Over to the left will be the stage. Tall ceilings with chandeliers. Yeah. All right. All right. So. All right. You get the idea. <laughs> but it's really great space. It's a great space. Uh, we're gonna be uh, having a, a better stage. We can move around a little bit more. We were we were definitely, you know, tight, if you will. Uh, but hey, it's gonna be a lot of fun. What's next? What's next? From the nice and slow record. Mm-hmm. Number one song, get it on! Get it on, get it on, get it on! Get it on, that's from 
Nice and slow. I think I already said that. <laughs> there was. What's next? Well, I'm going to the 12 record. Yes, I am. This is the first single on the jazz radio stations off the 12 record. Put your hands together on this one. Uh huh. Number one record call. It's time. was a fun song uh that video was just uh it was crazy to make see me do the never mind what's next uh oh you know what we're gonna chill out a little bit now most of the time radio singles are uh you know a little more upbeat but now and then you get to sneak kind of a little more uh, chilled out track in so this was the second single off the it's on tonight record Ready? Number one song. Let's chill out. It's called Hooking Up. Hooking Up. Hooking Up. You can snap your fingers on this one. Hook it up. Uh huh. Come on.
smooth groove right there. Hooking up from its own tonight. Alex Al on bass. That was fun. That was fun. That, this, this chill out song. Somehow it made it. It did well on the radio charts. Maybe you called in. Thanks. Uh, what's next? You know, I, I uh, sent this out in the email blast earlier today. Uh, there was a, um, even though it's, it's like 90 some degrees, it's, it's, it's the middle of July and it's hot. <sighs> there was forecast of, of snow in here and I, I was confused. And then I realized, I realized it's Christmas in July. Did you know that? Did you know? And so I was like, well, what, what really, what is that? So I had to look it up. So, you know. Um. Fun facts from the internet. That's right. Fun facts from the internet. That's right. I had to look this up because, come on, Christmas in July, what is this all about? I mean, you know. <laughs> so I go online. I start searching around. And I'm like, what can I find? What is this all about? So, uh, you know, I, I didn't realize this, but um, here, here's number one. As part of welcoming the coldest month of the year, I was like, huh? Oh, the people of the Southern Hemisphere often celebrate Christmas in July by making it an unofficial holiday, taking advantage of the cozy nature of their winter season. Never thought about that. So there you go. Makes sense, right? You know, because what are they going to do? What, like, imagine us right now making fires and drinking hot cocoa. It's not going to happen. But they can. Mm -hmm. All right, number two. Most probably. <laughs> I love things that start out with, well, most probably. This was on the internet, mind you. Uh, the origin of the term Christmas in July can be dated way back to 1892. A famous French opera named Werther included a scene where a group of children rehearse a Christmas carol in July, where one of the characters responded, if you sing Christmas in July, you'll rush the season. Okay. Well, that was the first origin. All right, so n number three. Around 1915, 1915, 106 years ago, a group of vaudeville performers would gather in uh, one of their summer colonies in Long Island with the intention to celebrate Christmas on the 4th of July. Oh, early, early July. And uh, the reason behind this was summer was the only off season for them. Because during the winter, especially in December, there was no time to celebrate as most, most performers were on the road during that time of the year. So uh, this meant they were away from their families and friends and often spending the day on a train, in a theater, in a hotel. So they would wait until summer in July to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Sure, but wait, I got more, a couple more. Uh, in 1933 was the first time the term Christmas in July was mentioned in print media. It was an article in the Washington Post, in fact. A girls' summer camp in North Carolina held a Yuletide celebration with a trimmed tree, gifts, and a visit by Santa Claus. The National Recreation Association's journal, Recreation, also wrote about it in 1935, describing it as all mystery and wonder surrounding this annual event. All right, 1933. All right. Well, here's, here's one more. With the release of the Hollywood film Christmas in July, which was 1940, the phrase entered the common vernacular. Even though the plot wasn't necessarily related, it was, it was centered around the story of a man who mistakenly believes he won a $25,000 lottery. And so he starts buying presents for his friends and family in July. Anyway, it's supposed to evoke Christmas has come early. Anyway, but since then it's become more of a literal sense. So uh, nowadays it's basically a reason to promote Christmas sales in July, right? Or a sale at the st I don't know, Christmas in July sales. How many emails did you get? All right, let's move on. What should we do? What should we do? Oh, you know what? I mean, we might have to do this. What? 
Oh no! Are you kidding me? It's disgruntled Santa! He's back! He must be in the southern hemisphere right now. Yes, kids. Come on! This camera's so jacked. Hey, you know what? We got a lot of birthdays tonight. We, we're still celebrating some birthdays. Where's the balloons? There they are. All right. I told you, we're having some fun tonight. Uh, hey, let's celebrate Jerry Johnson, who was here last week on The Hang. Jerry Johnson, happy birthday today. That's right. My tour manager, front of house sound engineer, Philip Manor, celebrated this week. What up, Phil? 
We got also lots of hang birthdays. We got Elaine Bradley Morris, Lachey Harrison, Lachey, what up? Uh, Tim Graham, Deidre Moore, Linda Starpool, Lucky, Rilan Terana, ooh, Brianna West, Zandra Harris, Parker Govern, Hunter Jacob Govern, Eddie Sprob, Christy Halloway, Kalia Hayes, Christy Moss, oh, two anniversaries, Julian Temple Murphy, celebrating 11 years, congratulations you guys, and Chris Miscal, celebrating his one year anniversary, happy anniversary you guys, and happy birthday to you, if you're celebrating today, yes. There you go. You know, and and as the, as the phrase goes, that's life. The next number one track off the 12 record, that's life. A duet with Earl Clue and Ray Parker. A triette. Say little B. Got a little trying to get a trying to get a groove on.
That's life, Earl Clue, Ray Parker Jr. A, a, a trio. There it is. <laughs> All right, what else? Oh, oh, oh. Now we're getting funky. Ready? This, this is the first track off of the Bringing Back the Funk record. Record. Oh, number one song. Song written by myself and Sheldon Reynolds of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Call Always Remember. Smile, doesn't it? It does me. Always remember to smile. Oh, I guess that just stopped. Stay with it. What's next? Oh, yeah. You know I had to play this song. The number one song. Colors of love.
Colors of Love. Aw. Aw. Yeah, we got one slow dance in there. We had to do it. But, uh, yeah. What time is it? <gasps> I have time for one more. Yes, I do. Yeah. Mm. But before I, don't, before I go, don't forget. Don't forget tomorrow morning. You can get your single day tickets to the Chicago Jazz Getaway. You know, let me, a little background music. We need background music. Chicago. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the deal. You know, we've been doing Napa Valley Jazz Getaway for a long time now. Um, but, uh, you know, being in the city, I wanted something totally different. Uh, so if you haven't been to this event, it's, it's so cool because we're all staying right by Millennium Park, right off Michigan Avenue, right in the middle of all the cool stuff. The Bean is right there. Grant Park with the Buckingham Fountain. Navy Piers right over there. Everything is walkable. The Art Institute is next door. Uh, so many things are happening right there. Um, you can get your pizza, get your hot dogs, get your Garrett's popcorn. I'm just saying, you can get it all. You can get it all. It's right there. So come hang out with us. Even if you're in town, you just drive up for the day or the evening or whatever you want, you know. The old staycation. Anyone? I, I like those. So here it is one more time. <laughs> Wearing my own shirt. <laughs> my bad. Don't, don't hate me. Don't hate <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, two-day gold packages, the Friday and Saturday night, still on sale right now. There's some seats left. But uh, starting tomorrow morning, the single days go on sale so a lot of people joining us with some surprises too I'm not even telling you I'm not even gonna tell you just get your tickets we're gonna have a good old time it's my first show back with you know with that like for real <laughs> so now you know now you know but we have time for one more song one more song before we go Ah, uh, speaking of traveling, I mean, how fitting is this? The number one song, this was off of the funk <laughs> record. The funk record. Oh yeah, number one song. It's yeah. been around the world and now we can sing it. What? Let's go.
Hey, we did it, folks. Oh, we did it. Thanks for hanging out tonight. We'll see y'all in Chicago. Oh, what? <laughs> Catch y'all on the post show. What? All right. We're having way too much fun. Way too much fun. Merry Christmas. Happy Happy Christmas in July. Stay home. Stay, stay with it. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Cracking myself up over here. All right. Ugh. How you doing? How you doing? All right, we gotta ch- chill out now. We're chilling. All right, Dad. Hey, what up, Dad? Stay with it. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. What What did we got? We didn't play it out. We didn't play what out? I think I played it out. All right, Natasha. Thanks. I got a gold star. Oh, thanks, Rhonda. And Laronda. Oh, yes. Um. <laughs> The chat's going fast. It's hard to read. It's hard to read. Somebody said she doesn't want to go out on Fridays because she doesn't want to miss the show. (laughs) Your seats have not changed. How could your seats have changed? The same seating map. We just took the seating map with the smaller venue and plopped it into the bigger one. That's why if you look on the seating map on on the website, it looks kind of wonky. But don't worry about it. It'll be fine once we get in there. Don't worry, don't worry about it. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Stay. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a full moon. Is it a full moon? I didn't know. Uh, yes. A uh, Barbara McCann. Uh, thanks. Tim is at. Stay hey, what up? Wait. All right. Hey, Francis G. Thank you. <laughs> Philly's in the house. Love you too. Stay. Wait. What up, Philly? Mm-hmm. Lachey, happy birthday. <laughs> Hey, Sheila Whitehurst. Stay with it. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. Oh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is going to go and now watch last week's show. <laughs> Rhonda stops working to watch the show. Now you're going back to work? Is that how it goes? All right. Stay. All right. Well, it is what it is. So don't forget, get your gold packages tonight before they go away. There's not that many left. And guess what? Next week... Michael Manson's gonna be in the studio, live in the studio. Mike Manson, bassist, Chicago bassist extraordinaire. Mike Manson here in the studio getting funky. You know he can get down. Have you ever seen him play? He is, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So I call him up. I'm calling my Chicago friends to pop through the studio. So, uh, you know, last week it was Jerry. Mike Manson live in the studio next week with his bass guitar. So don't miss next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. As always. We always have fun. Especially with you guys hanging out in the chat. It's hilarious. Stay with Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, all right. Uh-oh. Laura, Nora Lynch is still awake in Glasgow. What are you doing up? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Bev in Vegas. Good night. LaRonda, Daphne, everybody. Thank you, guys. Uh, Enjoy your weekend. We'll catch y'all next week. Mm Mm-hmm. Jazz getaway.